Q lights. Q logo. Focus. All right. Q the intro. Game Waltz. Game Waltz. Game Waltz. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Game Waltz. We are doing the Sims 4 webcomic story of Ralph and Susie Fink is their last name, I guess. Um, last episode, we did a, like a mock, like meetup thing with him and Mia, whose name I did not change. She is Sloane in the game. Susie doesn't know her. She, and that's, I might keep the name Anderson. I kind of like that name. So we'll do Mia. She has a husband named Anderson. Um, so, so, and then. She introduced uh, Ralph to, um, I feel like his name, did I say his name's Ralph? His name's Ralph. I introduced him to this rich woman, but he hasn't done anything with it yet. And he just came back home and helped Susie with her homework. Because she's, what is age seven, like first grade, uh, like preschool, I don't even know. Okay. Young, really young, but old enough to probably do homework, I believe. I mean, it, that feels right, right? And then he goes and eats the yogurt. So his thing is yogurt. That's cool. All right. So, so Ralph, when he doesn't feel like cooking, his snack of choice is yogurt. That's the thing now. I'm making it canon because I have that power as a creative artist type of person. Um, and then she she really likes books. Actually, I'm noticing my. Like, almost more so than the TV. I mean, to be fair, it's not, like, super exception. I can't do any of that. Cool. I can't upgrade anything because it's all garbage to begin with. Um, I actually... Oh, wait, he's got a, he's got a moodle. Let's do a, let's do a painting. Go, 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 go. I'll get your dish. It's okay, your benevolent god will clean up after you. Except the puddle, you gotta deal with that on your own. So, he gets super jazzed from helping her be a tutor or whatever, so he paints like a... He does like a painting of some sort to... To try and like <laughs> capture on the the aspect of it. Which reminds me, um, to add a little drama from Susie's day, let's say, for example, that she needs something from art class. Let's just throw that out there. Um, because I happen to know they have something in this game that I can use for exactly that. So, basically, she comes home cr almost crying to, um, to Ralph. And she goes, I need... She needs something to um, help her with her art class. She's she's failing out of arts, arts and crafts. And she knows that he... Um, He's an artist, like that's his thing, that's what he does. So I want it to be like purple, purple pinkish-esque. Okay, so she needs art supplies. He dips into his funds because he, you know, he feels bad for her terrible day. Like all, like maybe, maybe even like the kids were making fun of like, she can't really draw that well, she, but she's like really trying and she really is passionate about it because she heard stories from her mom where she found out that he uh, he's like this big time artist or whatever and she really looks up to him and she wants to be an artist too and he feels bad so he buys her like essentially a um, buys her essentially a like here's a box of crayons and a piece and like you can borrow some of my paper or whatever he buys her something. In the story, it won't be an entire desk for 300 bucks, but this is the only way I can get it to, like, work, so I have to do it this way to where, um, and then she starts drawing at the same time, he did, doing, like, a little parallel play thing. He does a good deed for her, he starts drawing, she starts drawing, um, and, you know, um... Speaking of, she was watching the kids' show earlier, right? So, what if, um... I'm going to let him go to the bathroom first, and then I'm going to interrupt his ass and to sell this, because he needs to be selling stuff, because I just spent a crap ton of his money. So, 
he does a good deed for her. He gets inspired. He he starts drawing. You know, he's probably he may not even be working on something he enjoys. It might just be like, um, it might just be like uh, the thing I was commissioned to do like a week ago. I'm getting paid like two hundred dollars for or whatever. Like he just did that, and she, you know, she's drawing her thing. And what are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Oh yeah, he needs to do stuff while inspired. I forgot. Uh, one more, and he'll get his next rank in that. Um, so he he keeps working, like and she draws like a. But anyway, here's here's a thought I just had about. Um, she was watching a cartoon, for example, on the on the TV. She was watching like, you know, something in the veins of like. Uh, God, I want to say, the, what is, it? what's a good, like, it's a good, like, cartoon. In my day, some old, I would watch things like Samurai Jack or Teen Titans or, um, Justice League, like, Batman, Superman, like, those were, those were the kind of things I was watching. It may, I may have been a little too young for those at the time. But I was actually super into uh, the old Batman Superman co uh, cartoon. She's just taking a nap, I guess. Are you napping? You go to school anyway. Like Ten hours. Did you finish homework? I don't even remember. It's not something I will be super... Like, the homework thing can come and go in the story, but... Um, in The Sims, it's kind of important. Um, so... So she's watching like a cartoon, right? I kind of like the idea of like a DC comic esque thing, like Batman, Superman, or like Teen Titans, or um, kind of like that. So she gets inspired by them, right? And she draws like a little, like she does like a little comic. She does, um, let's say, you know, a very stereotypical thing. Like it's a very crudely drawn thing of um, she does. What she does is she does a like a villain on top of a skyscraper, you know, and he's he's like captured a woman, like a like a female, like a reporter or something, and he's like, "Hey, ah, I got her, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have um, you have to give me like a million dollars or else I'll drop her off the sky, like he's gonna kill her or whatever." Um, dang it, Ralph! You know what? You can go. You can go to bed. I can just, I can just, I can just do this. Actually, no, I can't. Hang on. Um, I need this open first. Hang on, I can kind of just do this. So I'm just going to... Oh, look at that! Yes, I would like to sell this item for money. She's just up. And she just slept, I guess. Oh, I'm going to have her put this in the inventory so she can show the kids... Show the kids at school. Anyway, um... So she draws like a skyscraper scene. The villain's like, I'm going to throw this woman off the cliff and um she uh you know what you can do whatever you want um what she does is uh like she draws that and then the superhero sails in like he can fly maybe or he takes the elevator I don't know he ends up on this skyscraper this this um this uh this hero guy he comes in, he's just like, I'll stop you, and then, like, like hits the guy or, like, blasts him with energy or something. And the villain just kind of just, like, he doesn't necessarily fall off the skyscraper, but he's just like, ah, I've been defeated, ah, and then falls over, like, very crudely drunk, like, very six, seven-year-old kid, like, did it with Cran and everything, and, um, yeah, and then, like, she draws all that, and then Ralph, after he finishes the work he was doing for his commission, like, tired and depressed and just so sick of the, like, mechanical drawing that he has to do, is, like, his heart's not in it. He sees her, like, freeform, crude, childlike sense of wonder drawing, and he's really, like, like, inspired almost, like, jazzed by it. He's just super excited about her drawing and just pours over it for... So, like, just looks at it for a while, and then he, like, puts it down and goes to sleep, ultimately, but... 
So yeah, I, I mean, like he basically she just just to try just trying to be cool, like trying to practice drawing or whatever. She just draws her like really shitty like just makes a super superhero. Just makes him, puts him in a, like a thing, saves a girl, rescues the city, whatever. Just that just happens. Like she just does it, and then he sees it. And he's like, "This is actually not that bad." This is uh, she just she's just looking at it. Can you you no she? I can't even like tell her to do that. She's just look at that. She's just she's admiring his his art contraption already. I actually have one of these. It's not nearly as cool as that one, but I, I do have one. Um, so she makes this superhero just randomly out of the blue. He sees it. He loves it. He wants some more of it. Maybe it inspires him to um, to do something as well. Like, I, don't, I don't know why yet. Maybe he... Um, maybe he... Like takes her concept and makes evolves it even further, or maybe he, um, maybe actually, you know what? I think he would probably do because I, you know, you see a lot of like really creative like dads finding like their kids do like you know the little scribble drawings or whatever, and then they take those drawings and like make them all cool and epic with like shading and all sorts of shit. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Basically, what if Ralph sees her like superhero guy, and he's like, "I'm gonna just take the concept and just kind of play with it and make my own." He just makes a superhero out of the like he does like an actual like comic drawing of like this this crudely drawn thing that she makes. I think that would be uh, I think that would be kind of cool, and then he just kind of. Well, he gets the idea. He doesn't do it like now, but later he he could do that. So yeah, I think um, I think next time on the next episode of Game Waltz, we will continue this narrative. Again, I mean, it's I'm interested. I want to see where it goes. Um, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Oh God. Uh oh, late for school time. Um, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I'll see everybody on the next episode. So yeah, and we're out. Good job, guys. Super proud of that one. Oh, I hope they like it. Think we're getting any subscribers? Where's my yogurt? I just had it.